it's basically entirely useless. But you know that sometimes... <laughs> most of you know by now what the unboxing will be about but I feel like we have to capture his reaction um, because either he's gonna I think there's a very small chance that he's actually gonna like it I think the bigger the bigger chance is that he's gonna think I'm completely nuts <laughs> which I might be <laughs> but um, I really want to capture his reaction because I think it will be hilarious I don't think he expects you know what this bag is i think nobody would expect it hi friends so here we are my husband is actually behind the camera hi Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so up until this moment that we're actually filming this video i managed to keep it a secret right yes. what this is <laughs> you've been very very coy <laughs> Uh, there's a reason for it. So I said to them earlier that I think there's a teeny tiny little chance that you might think this is cool, but there's a huge chance you think I've gone completely mad. Your mom thinks you're cool. <laughs> My mom thinks I'm cool. Hi, mom. <laughs> okay, so first I show you what brand this is and I want to know if you know anything about it, okay? Okay. Can we see it, guys? J.W. Anderson. Oh, yeah! Hey, do you know it? No, I'm just reading oh. the box. <laughs> it sounded like you've heard it before. Do you know anything about J.W. Anderson? No. Okay, it's the creative director for Loewe, but he has his own brand, J.W. Okay. Anderson. By the way, guys, you can find these bags on Farfetch, and my code is still valid until the 15th of February, one day after Valentine's Day. So if you want to get one of these bags, be quick. They have so many amazing other bags as well, like this blue one that I've shown you in the vlog. Uh, the last vlog. I love it. Definitely go and check it out. J.W. Anderson. I've looked into this for the very first time now, but the first time I heard about this bag was because Carrie, do you know Carrie from Sex and the City? Carrie Bradshaw? Yeah. She was seen on the set of the new, and just like that, with this bag in her hand. And it's not only that I want this bag because it's in Sex and the City, okay? I want this, you know, once you see it, that I have a personal connection to this. <laughs> I'll reserve judgment. <laughs> any any okay. comments before I'll we... I'll reserve judgment until I see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it, it's basically entirely useless, but you know that sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know that You're sometimes... You're leading with it is entirely useless. Yeah, it is entirely useless, I think so. But we got it, we're gonna see what actually fits in here. But you know that sometimes, sometimes, there is a piece that comes around where you know that my eyes light up and that I cannot let it pass, right? Uh -huh. You've seen this before, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, are you ready? Are you ready? No, but let's get on with it. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> he, he knows, I tell you the story later, why I needed to get oh. this piece. No, 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 you but should see his face. That Any is comments? ridiculous. No, it's not. It is absolutely not. This is one of the pieces where I knew I had to have this. Comments before we unpack it? That looks like something your grandma would put out. You, are you one of these people who say my, gra my bags are grandma bags? I'm not saying, that's not even a bag. It is a bag. So this is a bag. You're doily away from... <laughs> oh, and by the way, guys, before we look at the bag, can we appreciate the packaging? How cool is that? I think the box is more useful. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this piece. <laughs> okay, I needed to have this once because it's in Sex and the City. And you love my long barn bags, right? They were in Sex and the City as well. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what the connection is there. You do know. So I, I tell you that story in a second. He know you know as well what that connection with the pigeon and me is. I know what the pigeon and you is, but that that's just <laughs> disgusting. <gasps> Did you hear that? He said it is disgusting. Okay, no, I don't I think it's hilarious and absolutely adorable. So this is my new friend. We need to find a name for her. <laughs> I don't know yet what Trash. <laughs> No, listen, we're not going to call her trash. So, <laughs> this is a 3D printed pigeon that is hand sprayed and hand painted. So, every one of these looks slightly different. 
um, as you guys can see, can we? There we go. As you can see, it has these beautiful eyes that they glued on, but the rest is 3D printed. Do you want to see now how you use this as a bag? Sure, I mean. <laughs> ta 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 ta! <laughs> Come on, I have you here for the reaction, for the comments. This is my reaction. <laughs> Speechless because it's so beautiful. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the JW Anderson pigeon clutch. It is so so difficult to get one of these. Yeah, so this is the pigeon. I think it's absolutely amazing. You can see it says JW Anderson right here. I hope you can see it. And that is the inside of the bag. It's not lined in anything, it is just this material. And it will make me super happy. What do we call her? I don't know what to call her, <laughs> but each, each to their own. Each to their own. Okay. I don't know, you've got grand plans for your next dressing room, but I'll, be, I'll stay quiet for that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, exactly. And what a beautiful piece this is, right? To add to my collection. Come closer, come closer. Look at it and, and, and give me a comment. <laughs> He's looking at it. Inspecting it. Well, he's saying put stuff up there. <laughs> no, we put it up their wing. Psst. <laughs> Oi. Mm. Whatever makes you happy. Okay, Whatever it makes, makes me super happy. happy. <laughs> and managed to keep this a secret, right? What were you expecting when I said, like, we're gonna have a really cool bag where I need your reaction because it's so different? I, I thought it. you were gonna buy the Versace rabbit beds. Ah, uh, the no, 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 no. This is cooler, huh? I'm sure the rabbits would have preferred the Versace rabbit bed. <laughs> so, guys, we were actually um, always looking at this Versace rabbit bed, and I always wanted to get it, but like, like chew on everything. We can't really do it, right? It would be a waste of money. You're holding a pigeon. <laughs> a pigeon okay but you have to still stay for the story time of this video so guys i'm gonna blow your mind now <laughs> because come on you know i love to tell that story mm -hmm. uh-huh mm -hmm. so actually i think we all do live in the matrix and it has to do with pigeons any any guesses so i think we live in the matrix because has any one of you ever seen a baby pigeon? <laughs> I've seen a pigeon handbag now. That, <laughs> you know, you could have said that to me last night and I would have said no. <laughs> so guys, I have never in my life seen a baby pigeon anywhere. I've never in my life seen a teenage pigeon anywhere. The only thing you see is the fat grown-up pigeon. <laughs> And no matter who you ask, go ask your family, your friends, ask anyone if they've ever seen a baby pigeon. And I think that is the glitch in the Matrix. You know I love that story. I know. <laughs> so now I have a pigeon handbag and I really couldn't pass on this. I think it's absolutely incredible. So should we see if it's useful? I got my card holder here and I've already got an Idea. <laughs> I already got the No, idea. it's not useful. <laughs> Hold this for a second. But you can just put an individual card in there. <laughs> I got my Harrods card. I got my Harrods card right here. Guys, can you see that? My Harrods card. And the card fits in there. So you can put your credit card or whatever you need, your ID in here. Good? Number one, we got a lipstick that goes in there. Keys, house keys. I think car keys definitely fit in here as well. I don't know why I brought out my brush. <laughs> the brush doesn't really go in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's something you would need to hold, you know, and carry. Uh -huh. Extra back. <laughs> And then we got, I need my headphones all the time because I'm always like recording voice messages and listening to voice messages. So headphones fit in there. Awesome, right? We have a credit card, we have a lipstick, we have keys, 
we have headphones and the phone you need to carry in your hand, I guess. This is why when we go out, I'm the one carrying a rucksack because I've got your spare jumper, your spare shoes, your spare hairbrush, your battery pack, your spare cables, and possibly an umbrella, pair of gloves, and a scarf. <laughs> and an extra jacket sometimes. Like yes, because you keep insisting you don't need one, but then you get cold and you want my one. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, isn't it awesome? <laughs> it's a pigeon. <laughs> it's a pigeon. <laughs> it's a pigeon clutch, guys. So, I think actually from afar, it looks quite real. Right? It's very realistic looking. Pe people would think I run around with a pigeon in my arm. I'll let you sit on what you've just said. <laughs> I think it's awesome. You can hold it like this, or maybe like this, as if you want, you know, to make her fly away. No? <laughs> you should. I do want to make her fly away, but. <laughs> no, this I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It, it is. It is. I'm sure it's like a well-engineered thing. It's. It's clearly an art piece. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's not a handbag. Well, it's a clutch. It's a toy. It's a clutch. It's a toy. Okay, that's his comment. <laughs> I, love <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> okay, so my husband's gone now. I just felt we needed to capture his reaction um, because this is a once in a lifetime piece, in my opinion, you know? So. <laughs> not hilarious or I love his comments so let's see again I think you know there's still a lot of space so you can fit other tiny things in here <laughs> nonetheless guys so I am in love with this I will definitely keep my eye out for other great bags from JW Anderson and um, let me get my Harris card back out <laughs> so this is my first ever piece and I think you know Look at how gorgeously, let me, how gorgeously they created this. So you barely ever see that the wing folds up. The only thing is like you see those screws here, but I mean from afar you don't really see them, right? And like I said, the eyes of this pigeon are so, so gorgeous. Look how the light reflects. On them and like I said they're all slightly different so and no bag is like any other they're all very unique um, because they're hand painted and hand sprayed and oh, I just love her I don't know what I call her yet um, I definitely want to have another look at that uh, blue bag because it's currently on sale um, on Farfetch as well and it's like I think 50% off which is like you know so much and I love it. it that one reminds me of the cookie monster <laughs> So, um, actually, J.W. Anderson, um, for the next uh, collection that's coming out, he's coming out with this frog clutch. I have to say I prefer the pigeon clutch a lot more. However, I appreciate that he seems to be going down that route now to probably always come up with a really, really, like, artistic, unique, weird <laughs> clutch. And I love that idea because, you know, I love collecting stuff, so... <laughs> Let's see what else he comes out with. Um, these, he actually took the inspiration from Prince William's shoes that he was wearing as like a kid when Diana was holding him. It's a really cute picture. Uh, you can see the little frock shoes that he's wearing and I think that's where the inspiration came from. And now J.W. Anderson is not only making that frock clutch, he's also making these frock shoes, which I think are hilarious, you know? So it's definitely a fashion brand I think that's worth looking into um, if you want to stand out and not just have like the regular pieces everyone has. Okay, so what should I call her? Any suggestions? Let me know in the comment section down below. I don't know. To me, she looks like a friend. Friend? Maybe friend? I think she looks like a friend. I love the nanny. Like, have you guys seen the nanny? This 90s show. Oh, I've been binge watching it like a million times <laughs> uh, since I was a kid, basically. Uh, friend Fine, the nanny. I don't know why. I like the name. Friend. Maybe this is friend. So, <laughs> okay, guys. 
that's it for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little crazy handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease and uh, madness. <laughs> okay, I see you again very, very soon. Bye!